Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at the Heist Mini Notebook Wallet from Art Company USA. Let's check it out. So the Heist comes in this Art Company USA fabric pouch. Let's take everything out. It does come with a Art Company number one sticker. That's pretty cool. But let's throw all this off to the side here. Now let's check out the Heist from Art Company USA here. And while you guys are checking this out, let's talk about some of the features. The Heist is a mini notebook wallet handmade from 1000D Cordura nylon. It features two credit card pockets that can hold between six to eight cards, a full-size pocket that can hold your cash, receipts, business cards, anything that'll fit in there, another full-size pocket that can hold a small notebook, and a pocket on the outside that can hold your EDC pen. It's available in six different colors. The color that I have right here is gray. All right, so what about the dimensions? It comes in at 3.25 inches by five inches when closed. And according to my weight test, it comes in at exactly one ounce. That's 28 grams, and keep in mind, I weighed it without the notebook. So let's take a closer look at the heist here from our company USA so we can determine if this is the right wallet for you. And I do classify this as a wallet, but it does teeter on the edge of being an EDC organizer. So let's start out with the quality here. If you have any gear from our company USA, you guys know that Mark over there does excellent work. Just like everything that our company USA produces, the heist here is made from 1000D Cordura nylon, which is virtually indestructible. I would say with everyday use, you still wouldn't put anywhere in this material at all. It's just a very heavy duty, very rugged and durable waterproof material. So I don't have any complaints about the material at all. So now let's talk about the stitching here. And I'll give you a close up look at the stitching here on the pen pocket. And if I open it up, you can see the stitching right around those card pockets. Everything looks excellent here. And now let's talk about the styling here. So you can see the heist is a vertical style bifold, but it's still made to hold an EDC notebook here. A pocket for your notebook, a pocket for cash, receipts, business cards, anything you can fit in this large pocket right here. Then two credit card pockets right here for your cards, and then a dedicated pocket for your EDC pen. And once you have this loaded up, everything is held together pretty securely with a snap. Now, generally, I don't like snaps on wallets or EDC organizers, but once I get to the card test, you're gonna see that this is absolutely necessary and I kind of like it here. And the only branding you're gonna see on this wallet right here is this tiny little art company tag up in the corner. That's it. And yes, it does come with this notebook here. And once I remove the notebook, you can see you have a ton of extra room right here to put extra cards, more cash. And with that notebook out, it gets super thin. I mean, just look at how thin this is with nothing in it. But of course that's gonna change once I start stuffing some cards and cash in here. So that leads me into the card test here. So they say it can hold between six and eight credit cards. Right here I have four flat credit cards. I'm just gonna stick them right in the top credit card pocket right there. Now let's take these last four cards and stick them in the bottom credit card pocket there. And yeah, they're right, so I would say eight is definitely the max here. Only because I had a little bit of resistance sticking these cards in that bottom pocket, and you can see it's definitely filling it out. And now with the maximum eight cards in there, let's see if it snaps up. Absolutely. So that's what it looks like with eight credit cards in there, the max inside the heist. But for me, I only carry six credit cards, so let's remove one card a piece from each pocket. Of course, that makes it much more manageable. The functionality's there, just pull them all out, do the fan method, or just swipe through it. Definitely the functionality is there. All right, so what if you're a cash carrier? Right here I have 10 American dollar bills. I'm gonna fold these in half to demonstrate to you that yes, the heist does take your bills folded in half and they fit in very nicely as you can see. And that's the nice thing about having this large pocket underneath those credit card pockets is you don't have to fold your bills into quarters or thirds. You can just leave them folded right in half. So right now I have six credit cards, 10 bills folded in half, the notebooks in there. Yep, still snaps up very nicely and still carries relatively thin. And of course you can take out this notebook, fit in some more cards here. I have four more credit cards. Of course, they'll just fit right in there still snaps up really nice. Like I said, there is a ton of room in this wallet. And now let's take a closer look at this pen pocket right here. So let me put everything off to the side here. I'm gonna drag in some pens that I wanted to demo for you. So right here is the O-Pen Mini. And let me show you guys just how perfect the O-Pen Mini 
fits in the heist here. It was almost made for this pen. You can see the bottom of the pen is right there at the bottom of the pocket. And just look at this pocket clip right here. It goes right up to the very top. So when I say this pen fits perfectly in there, I wasn't lying. And if you don't have an O-Pen Mini and you have a Fisher Space Pen Bullet, you can see that this fits just as nice. There's a little bit of room there on the bottom because it doesn't sit all the way down. That's just because this pocket clip here it's a little bit of room hanging out of the top, but it still fits very nice in my opinion. So next, let's try out the Fisher Space Pen Backpacker right here. And that one fits all the way to the bottom. I have a little bit hanging out of the top here with the key ring. Still fits really nice. So you might be wondering what the largest pen that I would recommend fitting in the heist here. This is a machine era markup. So let's fit that in here. And it fits very nicely, but you can see it goes, the top of the pen is right at the very top of the wallet here. So if you have any pens the same length as the Machine Era markup here, I'd probably say this would be the max, at least in my opinion. I say that because if you don't mind pens sticking up over the top here, you can basically put any pen that you want to in here. But for me, I love the size of this O-Pen Mini. I think it fits absolutely perfect in here. Fits like a glove, no excess hanging out of the top. This is my choice right here. So would I recommend the heist from our company USA? Yes, absolutely. Especially if you're looking for a wallet slash EDC organizer and want an alternative to leather, I think this Cordura is the perfect choice. Like I said, this is a very heavy duty, durable material and almost indestructible with everyday use. I think the quality and craftsmanship here is top notch. Everything that I get from our company USA is. And usually I wouldn't recommend a wallet that's five inches tall. I think that's just too big, but in a situation like this, that it carries your pen and notebook, based on what this is, it needs to be that tall. And at the same time, I'm not a fan of snaps on wallets, but again, once everything's in there and it snaps up very nicely, this snap is needed. And I like how slim everything carries in the heist here. You can have the maximum eight cards in here, 10 bills and this notebook, and it still carries relatively thin. And I like the option of being able to take out this notebook and having a whole other pocket here to stuff in more cards, cash, anything I want to. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the heist from Art Company USA? Now, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!